Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking stir fried fish with ginger and spring onions. So let's start cooking. Now we'll do an easy seasoning on the fish. I have with me over here 420 grams of mackerel filet, which I've cut into thick pieces like this. Don't cut it too thinly, otherwise you'll lose a lot of the juice inside there, which we don't want to. Apart from mackerel, you can always use salmon, grouper, snapper, no problem. Any fish that don't have too much bones, no problem at all. For the seasoning, very simple, a few dashes of pepper. One teaspoon of salt. And add in two tablespoons of water. Gently, just mix them up first. I'm using my hand because it's so much easier to do this without breaking the fish. I just gently mix them around like this. Once you have mixed them up well, we'll add in one and a half tablespoon of corn flour. This will protect the protein when we deep fry the fish in a while. Mix them up well. Make sure they are coated with the corn flour. I have another video on stir fried fish with ginger and spring onions. But for the other recipe, I did not deep fry the fish. So if you don't want to deep fry fish, you can actually use the recipe. I'll leave the link in the description box below. All right, once you're done with this, we will proceed to deep fry them. Now we'll start to deep fry our fish. Heat up a wok of oil. Make sure your oil is hot enough. I'm using medium heat at this moment. Now how to test whether the oil is hot enough or not? Using a bamboo skewer or bamboo chopstick, put it in. If you see bubbles rising up like this, that means the oil is hot enough. One thing to note is not to overcrowd your pan or wok. Put them in one by one. We just want it to fry to a light golden brown, not too dry. We still want to taste the freshness and the sweetness of the fish. Now remember, before you deep fry anything, please rest your protein, your fish, or your meat to room temperature before you fry them. Otherwise, it will not cook properly. We'll cook this in two batches because I don't have enough space in my pan. Do not move them around. Make sure that the crust has formed. Once the crust has formed, we'll turn it to the other side. It's okay if they start to stick together, just shake it a little bit and then they will separate themselves out. If your oil is smoking too much or gets too hot, always try to reduce the heat. The fish is about done, as you can see. A very light golden brown is what we want to achieve. The fish is basically cooked already. We will now remove them from the pan and proceed to fry the second batch. Once you have finished frying the fish, remove most of the oil, leaving some behind like this. Add in one thumb size of ginger, sliced like this. One medium sized onion, cut into wedges like this. Add in the stems of two or three spring onions, put it in. Give it a good stir. Get the flavor out. I'm using medium heat right now, so you can do the same. Keep stirring. Add in four cloves of garlic chop. Get the flavor out. I can already start to smell how good this is. Now we add in water. Add in 180 milliliters of water. Add in one and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce. One and a half tablespoon of light soy sauce. This is actually one of our favorite dish to cook. Now, depending on how dark you want the sauce to be, I'm using one and a half tablespoon of dark soy sauce. This dish is both savory and sweet, so we need to add some sugar. One teaspoon of sugar and another half a teaspoon. Mix the sauce up, let it boil for a minute or two, just to get all the flavors together. Keep stirring it. Now, depending on how much sauce you want, if you want more sauce, you can thicken it right now and then mix everything together. Or if you want lesser sauce, then you can cook them down for a little while more. Okay, now we just give this a taste to make sure that it's savory and sweet enough for us. Mmm, beautiful. Now we're taking the sauce up with some cornstarch solution. Taking it to the consistency that you want. Now add in one tablespoon of Chinese Shaoxing wine. 
If you don't take alcohol, you can omit this step. Mix it up. Now we're adding our fish. As well as the rest of our spring onions. Give it a good mix. And it's time for our lunch. Beautiful. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, I love the ginger fragrance that's coming out from here. Get a nice big piece, dip it in the sauce. And here you go. Mm. The sauce coats the fish beautifully, really, really fragrant. Best with steamed rice. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video, do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you, bye-bye.